Hi, this is Carmen Nino. I am a student pharmacist. And today I am going to give you some counseling information on the supplement cyanocobalamin, other known as vitamin B12. So cyanocobalamin is other known as vitamin B12, in fact, or COBEX. There's also many, many other brand names available on the US market. I am going to go over all of the formulations of this vitamin fine under the supplement class. This vitamin supplement is used to help with some kind of anemia. It is also used to treat or prevent low vitamin B12. It might also be um, prescribed to you for other reasons. And in, in this case, your doctor will talk to you about those reasons. How should you take this medication? For all oral products, it is best to use this medication with a meal. Keep taking this drug even if you feel well. For the chewable tablets, chew well before swallowing the medication. For the extended release tablet, swallow well do not chew, break, or crush the medication. For the under the tongue sublingual tablets, you want to place the tablet under your tongue and let it dissolve all the way. Do not chew, suck, or swallow the tablet. Then for the under the tongue sublingual spray, not the tablet, the spray, shake well the spray before you use it spray it into the mouth under the tongue. For the oral liquid, shake the liquid well before using it as well and measure the liquid doses very carefully using the measuring device that comes with the drug. If there's no measuring device that comes with the drug, you can always ask your pharmacist for one. For the lozenge and oral disintegrated, disintegrating tablets, let the tablet dissolve in your mouth and you may use water if you need to. Now, there's also the nose spray. For the nose spray, do not take this the, the nose spray by your mouth. You want to use it in your nose only and keep it out of your mouth and your eyes as it may burn your eyes. So strictly use it for your nose. Some products need to be primed before first using it, or if they are, you, if they are not used for a long period of time. And some of the nose spray products do not need to be primed. So you want to check with your doctor or your pharmacist um, if the nose spray you are taking need to be primed or does not need to be primed. After, after you, you, you use this medication, you want to keep it clean and also blow your nose before even you use the medication. Do not, least, do not use this medication for at least one hour before or one hour after eating or drinking hot food or hot liquid. So no hot food and no liquids in the one hour uh, in the one hour period before or after you use the nose spray. If you are using other drugs for your nose or in your nose, talk to your doctor or your pharmacist about the best order and when to take it with this medication. Then you have the injection form of this medication. The injection form of vitamin B12 is given as a shot into a muscle or into a fatty part of your, of your skin. If you will be giving yourself the shot, your doctor or your nurse will teach you how to give the shot. Keep taking this drug as you have been told by your doctor or other healthcare provider, even if you feel well. Wash your hands before and after using it. Do not use if the solution is cloudy, leaky, or if it has particles in it. 
also do not use if the solution if the solution change color so if it changes the co color if it is cloudy or leaky leaky do not use it throw away needles in the needle sharp box disposal box do not reuse needles or any other item when the box is full follow all the local rules for getting rid of it and talk to your doctor or your pharmacist if you have any question about how to store those needles if you miss a dose take the missed dose as soon as you remember it but if it is close to your next dose just keep the dose just keep the missed dose and go back to your next to your normal schedule it is very important not to take two doses at the same time some side effect that you may have with this medication are feeling of being dizzy, tired or weak, headache, feeling nervous or excitable, diarrhea, upset stomach or throwing up, joint pain, signs of common cold. And those are side effects that may or may not happen with all the products, particularly with the nose spray, you might have some nose or throat irritation. Before using this medication, you want to inform your healthcare provide, provider about any allergies that you may have to this drug or any other drugs, foods, or substances. Also make sure you mention to your healthcare provider if you have an eye problem called labors optic atrophy. For the nose, before taking the nose spray, let your prescriber know if you have any of these following health problems. Nasal allergies, stuffy nose, sign or symptoms of cold, and tell your doctor and pharmacist about all of your drugs that you are currently taking, including over the counter drugs and natural products. To start this medication, for the injection, if you need to store this medication at home, talk with your doctor, nurse, or pharmacist about how to store this medication. For all other products, you want to make sure you store it at room temperature. Do not freeze the medication, store it in a dry place, and avoid to store it in the bathroom. For the nose spray, make sure it is protected from the heat and the light. Store upright with the cap on. And for all other products, keep all the drugs in the safe place and keep it out of the reach of the children and pets. You may contact your pharmacist and your doctor at any time if you have any questions about information about your vitamin B12. Thank you.